All right, man. Like Detroit Lions dominate pro football focus. Uh, players 25 and under list. Um, pro football focus is, you know, it's an opinion. I mean, it's to the point where some of this stuff is opinion that a lot of these, you know, um, organ, a lot of these, you know, different outlets, they disagree on what a drop is. So, you got to understand a lot of this is a, a, a opinionated. So, uh, Yeah, a lot of this is opinionated. But um, but it just, you know, signifies that a great job the Lions been doing at drafting. And that's that's been an issue for them. You know, throughout the years. I mean, whatever it was, just picking the wrong guy, lack of development, whatever it's been. But it's something that um, Brad Holmes has been fairly successful with so so far, and that's how you build. That's how you build a, a, a championship organization because the best way to build is through the draft. You know, they can naturally gel together. They can naturally, you know, grow together. When you go get a bunch of free agents, a lot of them guys are stuck in their ways. They are who they are, you know? So, um, with a young core, it's cheaper. And you can mold these guys to how you want to mold them. You, leave, you, you know, excuse me, you leave, you need to use free agents. Just to, you know, get some veterans and sprinkle some guys on top. So it says when Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell assumed control over the Detroit Lions, their primary focus was crafting a team through the draft and strategy that has proven immensely successful thus far. The Lions have swiftly witnessed impactful contributions from the draft players, laying the foundation for a robust core set to endure for years to come, notably key draft selections like Penisa Well, you know, and uh, Amara St. Brown. Have blossomed into premier talents, earning well-deserved contract extensions. This commitment is nurturing, nurturing uh, ta- that talent that has propelled the Lions in consideration as one of the team's NFL elites. It's not hard to marvel at the Lions' depth drafting, which has solidified a formidable core, Gardner widespread attention for their infusion of youthful vigor. And this year, the Lions dominate the annual top 25 and under 25 player rankings, claiming five covered spots. Highest tally on the list, securing the top position positions. So um, it's truly remarkable things to Will is only 23, given the level of play demonstrated, blah, blah, blah. Aiden Hutchinson came in at six. Um, uh, Hutchinson took a significant leap forward. So if he had some help, he'd be probably number one. Second year earning recognition, perimeter edge uh, rusher in the league. His prowess isn't limited to pass. He's also a formidable stop of the run, showcasing versatility, as well as a real wanted defender as he enters his third year. Sky's the limit and all that other stuff. So, I mean, if he had some help, you know, on the other side, it'd probably be a wrap. You know, he'd probably be number one. He got that type of talent, but he good inside rushing, outside rushing. We got to remember for a minute at Michigan, he was, uh, you got to remember at Michigan, he was playing the inside for a while. So, and sometimes occasionally for the Lions to flip them on the inside. You know, my rock coming in at 11 is crazy. You know, that's crazy to me. Another uh, Jim Holmes, I mean, that's basically saying he's not even the top 10 receiver. Uh, hold on. So, you know, it says another Jim from Holmes' inaugural draft. St. Brown has under, under, undergone a remarkable transformation from seems to overlook for a front pick. to at least most dominant receiver when a crucial – Play is needed. You can count on St. Brown to step up and get the job done. With significant contract extension under his belt, he remains to go get target for Jared Goff silently, uh, silencing any doubters along the way. So, I mean, yeah, he's definitely, you know, uh, definitely one of our leaders and, and you know, reliable. Uh, seem pretty passionate, too. You know, seem really, really passionate. So, um, one of those. Emotional leaders, like I said, that's something that Calvin really didn't bring. He's more of a 
a quiet guy. And St. Brown brings that passion. Um, kind of remind you of Golden Tate. Just tough. You know, um, the next step for him is just to dominate outside the hashes more. So let's keep it going. Um, Sam Laporta at 19. I mean, you can make a case that I don't I ain't seen the entire list, but you can make a case, you know, he might be should be a little bit higher. <laughs> he might have been the best tight end last year. When the Lions drafted Laporta, many questioned the pick. That was me down in the position of value to offer. However, once again, the Lions provoke proved they were headed to the curve. Laporta made the immediate impact, shattering tight end reception records rapidly ascending through the NFL ranks. And the Phillips elite at his position as he enters the second year, he's aimed to sustain an upward trajectory. And yes, he is. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, he a problem. And, um, I was skeptical of the pick, not because of the, you know, because of the Lions have not done with tight end. They drafted these guys high and didn't seem to really have a plan. They just wanted to have them block. It was crazy. Jameer Gibbs, 21. I think he'd be jumping up that list pretty soon to see if he remained healthy because they said he's going to get a larger workload this year. Another standoff from last year's draft, Gibbs demonstrated why he was deserving of the Lions' first selection, though it took him a bit of time to find a stride, and the injured David Montgomery propelled him into a lineup sooner than expected. Didn't take long for everyone to see his lightning speed and quickness and loosening on full display as he enters his sophomore season. He should fully prime to kick it into high gear. So, um, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you know, um, you know, uh, but, uh, but yeah, man, it just, you know, demonstrated, um, you know, that, you know, they know what they're doing. Lean Manil could have been on, could have, could have made a case for, for the list as well, too, as well. He played last year, you know, so. Uh, so yeah, he could have made, he could have made, he could have made the list, but hey, um, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live to drop video financially. You want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign CJ Good 313, Venmo CJ Good 313, PayPal link in description. Hit the link tree, find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify. Anchor, Cash, and Bimbo, PayPal. Appreciate the love and support. Um, peace.